Now, your highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <laughs> your grace, sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, the Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated. Now the militia is headed here to Ranbrees, even as we speak. What? Newsflash from Radio GBS, your source for the news. The Gallian militia has faced and thwarted the Empire's defenses at Vassal Bridge. They march now to the capital to liberate it from occupation. Oh, right! That's my bro, Welkin! Merle, you're a... Huh. Reckon I did a fair job whipping those kids into shape. Citizens of Gallia, keep your faith alive. Turn and face the threat ahead and fight! Go, Welkies, go! We're all cheering for you. Make us proud. <laughs> Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. So be it. We shall fight them off ourselves. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir. Last time, their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now for all time. Your grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense, Castle Ramblings, to me. Do we look the fool that might trust a dog with so little loyalty to his master as you? Put this man to death by fire of his court. The Galia of tomorrow has no place for him. Back, Maximilian! We had agreed! We had an understanding! All right, come along! Stop this! Desisted ones! Who are you to touch me? big pointy thing on top. I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian Lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmota's forward path! Move it! The Gallian militias fanned out ahead of us in a line, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. The greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens. Shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it, a leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth.
Marmotus fired an unidentified beam of light. Squads four and five have been wiped out. Hot damn. If we'd been one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing. Move around to its side. <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? We wield power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here. Okay, let's find the engine and kill it. That would be most inconvenient. Maximilian, show yourself! The finest engineers of the Empire shed both blood and tears to forge this Valkyrian shield and spear. As you will observe, their powers exceed even the originals. Stop this! Haven't enough men died? Why are you doing this? Why we fight for our dream. Do you not think that reason enough? So many have died for less. Besides, we must. Rightful vengeance must be meted out. What is this? We were born an imperial prince. But our mother was of low station. For this, our father shunned us. The other heirs saw us as a threat to their ascension. They bombed our train when we were but a child. Though we survived by some cruel miracle, the fates were not so kind to mother and the rest. On that day, we swore an oath. We would take the Empire, and the Emperor's throne for our own. For years we sought a way to lay our rightful claim to the Empire. And at last, our answer has come. Let me guess. You're talking about the Valkyrie's power. The time of wars waged by men wielding powder and steel is fated to end ere long. The new age will be shaped by emperors, not men. Yes, he who wields the destructive power of the Valkyra grips the very reins of history. Peasants, let us end this! We shall never stop, not while we draw breath! <laughs> 